What it is, y'all, it's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Doka. But notice there's no gameplay, because we're just going to get right into this, and we're going to talk about the incoming units uh, tonight. Now, these guys are going to drop. My understanding is they're going to drop about midnight, which is about two, two and a half hours earlier than normal. That's midnight Eastern time. I believe nine o'clock Pacific is what I've heard so far. Uh, if there's other times out there, my data might be a little bit old at this juncture. I haven't checked in a couple of hours, but that was the information we had uh, a little bit earlier today. So it looks like everything's dropping a little bit earlier tonight, which is pretty hype. Now, Let's check out uh, the banner. First of all, I'm going to kick this off, and we're going to talk about uh, this banner right... Oop, not that banner. This banner right here. Goku and Vegeta. Great looking banner. We got full power freeze, so we got UI Goku. We got Imperfect Cell, them for le better or worse. But these guys are pretty stellar. Their joint forces are movie, movie heroes category. Uh, all, key plus three, all stats 170, and then an extra 30% to any... Uh, pure Saiyans units on the team. They get key to an attack and defense 150%, reduces damage by 30% plus an additional key to, which is amazing, per key sphere obtained, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming an SA, plus an additional attack and defense 50% and medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing a use super. So any 18 key or better, and then they're guaranteed to get a uh, critical hit when they have active skill or when they're at 24 keys. So these guys are stellar. They're amazing. This is the Dokkan Fest banner. Now, we do have one other banner. We have Cooler Incoming. And this is the big global W on this banner. You ready for this? Check this out. Goku and Gohan. Believe, unless I'm mistaken, I believe those are the, if I, if I remember correctly, that's the Goku Day unit or maybe the Saiyan Day unit. I don't remember which. But anyway, this is the first time returning, I believe, on uh, Global at all. Fantastic unit. I use them all the time. They are absolutely awesome. And yes, this is the Carnival banner. Now, Cooler is all stats. Let's see. He is, blah, 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 blah. let me pull him up here. Wicked Bloodlines, key three, all stats 200%. So it doesn't even mess around. Just all stats 200%. Okay? But to this single category. Now, a lot of people have been dogging on this unit because he recovers 10% HP at the start of a turn, and if HP is 50% or less, recovers an additional 10%, which actually can pull you out of the fire in a lot of places. Uh, key to an additional attack and defense 130%, plus additional defense boost up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. Remember, defense is huge, guys. Defense is the biggest portion of this. So I think people see the attack 130 and go, eh. But remember, the defense can really save you on this one. Okay? Um, plus an additional key one up to four, and attack and defense 50% up to 60% with each attack received. So you got to take damage to, to make damage. But you know what? In any long-term event, this guy's going to build up, and he's going to build up quick. Absolutely quick. Um... Recovers 10% HP at the end of a turn in which the end attack was received and recovers an additional 5% HP when there's another ally whose name includes Metal Cooler. That's an interesting choice there. Attacking in the same turn. So a full Metal Cooler team will, will get an extra 5%. That's interesting. Uh, great chance of nullifying... Uh, let's see. Great chance of nullifying... Um, Unnamed super attacks? What? That's a weird choice. Directed at the character. So, interesting. I'll have to see how that plays out. That's a weird one. Receives, uh, revives with HP fully recovered when character is KO'd only once. So this unit is stellar. We figured there was going to be a revival on that. I think a lot of people are overlooking like a really good unit for long-term events. But the biggest, the best thing about this banner, okay? You've got... Currently, Gohan, it is what it is. You got L Arch Nimba, love that unit. Tech Broly's a bit old at this point. Very old, in fact. But that Goku and Gohan unit is stellar. And on the uh on JP, uh, they're getting the uh uh I believe the anniversary units, not the not the Dokkan Fest, but the later ones. So this is a major, major, major win for Global Dokkan. That unit is insane. That unit is nuts. I use them all the time. It's the rare LR that I'll throw on a team full of LRs because they just hold their own and they're an insane leader skill. 
So if you didn't get them, or if you need dupes of them like I do, this is a great opportunity. I know everyone dogs on carnival banners, but trust me, believe you me, this guy, here in about six months, a lot of people will be like, man, I skipped that banner and I regret it. The few people that have him are going to be flexing as hard as a lot of us flexed when we got LR Broly for that very first world tournament. Trust me, carnival banners, they're going to show their worth here in about four to six months. Believe me on that one. But for now, that's going to be my two cents of this matter. Like, comment, share, let me know what you guys thought, and I'll catch you all in the next one.